Hello, welcome to Ask the Therapist from Psych Central. I'm Dr. Dan Tomasulo, and this is my colleague, Dr. Marie Hartwell Walker. And Marie, you were just talking about some really, really fun and interesting yeah. research from the 50s. Well, uh, one of the pleasures of doing these is that we get to share some yeah. information and research yeah, yeah. we found. And I stumbled on a very interesting study done in 1957 by a fellow named Nash, where he was studying leisure time mm. and what kind of activity helps us feel good and what kind just really doesn't. Yeah. And this is what he came up with. He actually arranged it in a hierarchy. So uh, number one is killing time. <laughs> yeah, uh, killing right. time is simply um, doing something for your own amusement, like watching reruns uh, or a marathon of yes. uh, uh, 24 hours of some Right. show you kind of like, but not really, at 2 a.m. All right, and so that's level one. Level two is um, appreciation of um, an emotional participation in something. So not only am I watching uh, these reruns, but I'm really excited because I missed right. the episode six of Buffy, right. the vampire slayer some or something. So you're engaged it. in yeah. some way. Right. But level three is when you get not only emotionally involved, but actively involved. Right with something. So you can't do that with TV mm -hmm. shows unless you're sharing it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then two of you are talking about the plot line. And now we have an active participation. Right. So that's at another level, level, level. up. And then there is something called um, creative participation. And that's huh. when you become actually a creator of right. what goes on. So let's let's take football since it's football season around yeah. here at least. Right. You know, uh, Killing Time is watching uh, reruns of old uh, uh, football games and you don't even like football very yeah, much, right, okay? Right. But oh well, it's on and it's 3 a.m. Right. Um, to be in engaged in some way is to be interested. Right. Um, to be more actively participating is to have a friend over. Yes, okay? sure, sure, sure. And to be really engaged in a creative way is to make a party or to go out and play. Go or out and to actually be, play right, touch right, football right. or something. And right. what Nash found is it's not that one is better than the other, even though he put it at a hierarchy, mm -hmm. but that it's the mix mm -hmm. that is most gives us the most satisfaction in life. Yeah. So if we find ourselves only killing time, well, that's a prescription for depression. Yes. Right. If you're just yeah. killing time, but if you start engaging and then inviting right. others to participate, and then by all means creating, right. that the more of that mix that happens, the more likely you are to feel good about yourself and good about your life. Wow. And where this right. becomes practical is think about it. Yeah. All right, I like football. I can watch this game by myself and have a beer. Right. Or I can invite a couple of friends over. Right. Now it's more fun. Right. Right. Or we can get tickets and all go to a game together. Right, right. And right. that's even more fun because now I not only have engagement, but I have friends with me and right. I made something happen. Yeah. Right? Y you know what's so interesting as you're talking? I'm thinking about some fairly new research on flow. Oh, which, right. Um, uh, they, they, they used to think that flow was a, an experience that you would kind of move into where you kind of lose track of time. It's about engagement, right. really, you know. But they originally had it as like an individual thing. But now what they find out is that there are levels of flow, right? right. And that you can do something sort of by yourself. That might be like right. watching the TV. And then they have something called coactive flow, where we're both watching TV together, but we're not really talking, you oh, know. Right. And then there's interactive. You're on one end of the couch, yeah, on the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. you know. And then there's something like interactive, where you know we're playing the game together. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting that stuff, even from the 50s, now we go all this uh, way forward. Well, good ideas have a way of reemerging and yeah. reemerging and reemerging until maybe we get it. <laughs> right? Right. So exactly. um, I, I think. It, it can be purposeful. Yeah. We can make a decision right. to have more of that active participation and more creativity in our lives. Yeah, very true.